Welcome back to the Vine and Charlie Chosen One channel. This is Gracie and Spiritual Earth Angel 623. So I want to come to you because I got like a download and the download is talking about that what God was showing me is that this is a man. This is a man that had a threesome um, back in his college days with two female friends um, and also another male friend was in the mix and what happened well maybe it's a foursome what happened is that he was in love with one of the female friends and then he started, and then he was dating also another one too. So there were two best friends that he was dating. He was dating two women at, at the same time. Um, and they all was having sexual relationship and everything else too. Um, back in their college days. And what happened between it is that this man was also go both ways that he liked men and he liked women also and also with the two females they go both ways also and what happened is that he was supposed to marry these two women come from they can marry more than one woman and he was supposed to marry these two women and it didn't happen he ended up marrying someone else totally different opposite you know for money because he felt like that this older woman had money you know and can give him status can give him, you know, put him on the map where he was off the grid, um, where that he wasn't poor, you know, he come from a kind of poor, like, type family, and he didn't have much at that time, so when he ran across this rich lady, that's how we're gonna put it, then, you know, sort of rich lady, and then that's how he decided to, you know, pursue um, his interest somewhere else, but it was only for money um, and for status, and once he got, you know, on his feet and on, you know, and for the status, then he was going to come back for those two women, um, those two best friends that he was going to marry. And during the meantime, he also had one of his friends to be looking after them. But instead, one of his friends fell in love with one of the women that he was supposed to be getting married to, get married to both of them. He was getting married to both women. Um, and when that didn't, you know, he told his friend to watch over his, you know, his two women, you know, while he go out on this adventure trying to get, you know, money and status and all this and popularity and all this. And when he realized that his friend fell in love with his best friend and the female also fell in love with the best friend, they end up getting married. This threw this man really, really into a rage. It threw him upset um, that he made a mistake, that he should not went out on his adventure, you know, for fame and fortune and status, that he should have stuck with his original plan. And the female couldn't wait any longer for this man to return to marry 
her all females and they end up pursuing other avenues other pursuits and this made this man even more angry even more mad at himself till the point that he started to mistreat the woman that he went after to get fame and status This is what the, this is a download that I'm getting y'all. So it's kind of graphic. So maybe me graphic and sometimes it can be very I don't know. But <laughs> this is what I'm getting and this is what I'm going to be talking about. Um and when that happened, because it's it's so much detail to this, this is the man's history. You know, he has a history of sleeping with men from where he come from but it's forbidden from where he's come from it's very forbidden and it brings shame and everything else to his family if they really find out that he's all about you know bisexual like he want women and men and also these women that he dated they also like women too and men so they're bisexual also so they're all in this, what you call it, quasi uh, or something, quasi or quasi or something like that, um, where, you know, they all in the mix. And this man is dealing with his sexuality. Now that he's over in a country that accept, you know, the bisexual type, you know, culture. Um, it's like he's doing it more and more now. His appetite is, is leaning more and more to picking up strange men, you know and doing things in the bathroom and different things like that with this and now this man is watching porn and different things you know that has related to men you know men having sex with men um you know bisexual men having sex with men and women he likes three something. His wife that he's married to doesn't do it, doesn't go that way, doesn't like three something. She doesn't, you know, she does everything the traditional way when it comes to sexual relationship or whatever. She's not bisexual. She's straight, you know, heterosexual with um, men only. And this woman then really, really praying to God um, about her relationship with this man and what she found out. 
because her husband or boyfriend, let me put it like that, doesn't know. He doesn't know that she already knows what he does on the side. You know, and she don't know how to talk to him about the situation is what I'm getting. This is what I'm, you know, what God was showing me in the dream. She don't know how to talk to him about, you know, what she discovered that he does. Because um, you know it's going to be a touchy situation. Um, there were one time it was like a, it was like a game. They were playing a game and um, and the game, you know, playing a game with a group of friends. There was a group of friends that came over and they played a game together. And one of the questions that they played the game together was, um, who is the sexiest person on earth or um, in your life or whatever? And this man mentioned another man's name. And so everybody in the group just stopped and just looked at him and asked him, are you serious? Did you listen to the question? And he was like, what, what, you know? And so when they rephrased, so the other guy rephrased the question and said, and then that's when it wasn't even it said the sexiest person, not man or woman or anything. So he didn't have no other answer. He bypassed the answer. So everybody's looking at him. Now these are people in the group that are not, you know, bisexual. And he had to, you know, and everybody was looking at him kind of sideways in a dream and kind of, you know, looking at him like, okay, you like, and even, you know, his wife or girlfriend or whatever, she was also looking strangely too at him, side high at him. Like, the only answer you come out with was a man. So, it lets you know that, you know, and God was just showing me too, and I'm going to be real now, you know, with this, that, you know, when you, when there is a man that is married to someone or he have a relationship with somebody, you know, or dating somebody, he needs to be straight up about his fetish, about his sexual preference. Because he don't need to be dipping and dabbing with women, especially when the women are heterosexual, that they do not go both ways. That he needs to start letting women know. He not spoke, you know, that's as up with courtesy and respect. You know, what he what his preference is. You know, he's hiding behind, you know, his sexuality. And it's identity crisis. I talked about this, y'all, back on my Spiritual Earth Angel 623 channel last about a year ago. And I talked about this man having pillow talk. And I did part one and part two. That he's pillow talking to another man. Now, let you remind you, there is billions of people out there. Billions of men and women is out there. So... If this does not resonate with you with my dreams and different downloads, don't 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 get offended and don't take it as it, it like I'm talking about you or anybody else. Because there are millions and billions of people out there that God could be showing me and you know a dream about. You know, when I have my prophetic dreams and visions and stuff like that, you know. There's no names attached to this. Only thing I see faces. So therefore, don't get it twisted and getting offended and all this craziness 
over what I dream about, what God shows me and everything else. Because sometimes it does not, it's not meant for you or any, you know, especially if you're not going through a situation like this in your life, then you should not be worrying about things like that. You know, people listen to, you know, things and then they get it all twisted and get it all wrong and make their own assumptions and then they want to content, then they want to go and do crazy stuff and say crazy things. You know, not everything that somebody talk about in a video or somebody talk about, um, about their dreams or whatever has anything to do with you or unless you live in that type of lifestyle then that's on you take it how you resonate um and with that now let's get back to it and when that happened she ended up marrying his best friend and then his best, you know, then the other female, she ended up going and married somebody else that was in the group also. You know, it's a big, like a, it's a big online group from a college kid setting. It was like a college setting that they performed like this online group where all of them can talk about different things. Um, they can conversate with each other, you know, different things like that online is what they do. And this man is part of that group. And he ended up lying to his wife or girlfriend about this online group. Um, and that's how he had the online group attacking his wife or his girlfriend that's in a long-term relationship or long-term marriage. And I'm not talking about like one, two, three years. I'm talking about like more than five years of marriage, five years in relationship. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and he's been upset and mad about himself for the longest time over the mistake that he made because of his ego and his pride um, and trying to make a name for himself out here in this world. And when things like that happen, you know, when somebody goes out and make wrong decisions and don't seek God for it, then you have to deal with the accountability and responsibility and the creation that you have created in your life. You cannot take out or take your frustration out on the one that has nothing to do with what, what the plan was that you had with these two women, you know, that you will be with them and all this stuff. You can't take your frustration out on the other person because the other person was in the dark and didn't know anything about what was going on. And when the third, and, and you can actually, this was a third party. So the, the rich lady was actually the third party in this situation because this man had lied to her and told her that he wasn't with nobody. He wasn't dating. This man is all on, on all types of dating sites. Um, men and women dating sites he's on. You know, he's talking to a lot of different men on dating sites, and he's also talking to women on dating sites. So this man is all over the place with his identity crisis. He don't know if he want to be with a man or a woman at any given moment. Um, he's all confused. He's always in his head 
all the time. Um, you can see that this man be really, really interested in men because he be staring at the men. Um, he stared at the men more than the woman. One time um, in the dream, you know, God was showing me the dream that this man, I mean, it's like, a, I'm telling you, God was showing me details step by step from the beginning to the end what happened to this downfall of this man that everybody called divine masculine or twin flame you know or rich man they don't know how this rich man became rich he came rich because of this rich lady that he met is how this man became a rich man status because this man was poor when the rich lady met him he was poor he didn't have anything not a pot to piss in not his own vehicle not his own place. He was living in a family place with his siblings. So that's the status that this man is coming from. And, and what it, you know, let's get back to it. And so when that happened, He's afraid to let his family know, you know, what his preference is. You know, that he likes men and women. And he thought that he was going to allow a, he thought that his wife or his girlfriend now, he thought that he was going, that, he, that she was going to be okay with another man or female living with him. And when that plan didn't go right, this man began to get more angry at the rich lady, which is his wife or girlfriend. And he long term, and he wants he gets so mad with her because she does not go by the plan, and she does not, you know, go that way bisexual. And when that happened, it sets this man off into a rage. He act like that he got it all together on the outside, but in the inside, he is dealing with identity crisis. He's dealing with childhood trauma. He's dealing with rage. He's dealing with unhealed errors in his life. Um, he's dealing with a lot of consequence and accountability that, and guiltness that he has not sought out. He has not figured it out. He has not sorted it out. He has not got the proper healing. And it shows because this man has also a bipolar mental disorder. He's where he's one way or oh, nice and sweet. The next minute he's not. Um, there's, and like I said, you know, in the dream, God was just showing me how what happened to this man that everybody's calling the rich man now. But see, everybody's not talking about how this man was poor and how he met this rich woman first. This man met this rich woman first before this rich woman had things going on in her life before she met this man. He even come out and told her that he don't have anything to offer her. But she took him as he was because this woman really did care for this man. She really did care for him. But then when she started finding out his dark secrets and his past, it kind of turned her in a different way. Um, put her in um, in a dis-ease, discomfort way. You know, um, with her lifestyle and her sexual um, relationship with this man. 
and God's been dealing with this man and this man is not you know he was once religious and this man is not you know he don't practice his religion anymore like he used to um it's a lot of things because he has dipped and dabbed into sin and he's so far into the sin that he don't know how to reach out to God and he wants to look at his wife or his girlfriend long term as the enemy as the demon you know and which is and wants to put all the fault and blame on her even when he knows that she is sweet loving caring and do anything for anybody he doesn't like it he doesn't like her shine he doesn't like how she speak up he don't like how she do anything anything that she does is not right in his eyes he wants to judge he wants to critic he wants to tear it to pieces and shred and sabotage her because of his unhappiness because he's fighting identity crisis he don't know if he want to be a man or a woman and only thing he needs to do is now is to let go you know let go of the female and allow her to move on with her life and he move on with his life but he don't want to do that because he know that he has got a good woman at home he has a good woman at home that's not that hasn't cheated on him hasn't done anything you know but be a wife to him and he knows that if he let her go that she's going to eventually meet the man that's going to be right for her and they will you know live the life that this that this woman is supposed to be living and he's like i said this man is torn between two sides of them the good and the bad and god is really dealing with this man this man is having all types of nightmares and everything else in his sleep um he can't sleep at night he's up and down you know god is just showing me all of this that this man is really really dealing with a lot of things he don't got himself into a web tangle up into a web that he can't get himself out of he's too far deep in too many people know too much dirt and secrets on this man and that's why this man get blackmailed and that's why he don't have money to pay all these people to keep his secret quiet this man is so terrified and afraid that his secret is going to get out and that all his people and friends and family and siblings and everybody is going to look at him and, and discuss. And that he's not going to have anybody to turn to. Because like you said, his wife will end up leaving. You know, and find or oh, God will send her someone. Take it high resonate that is going to be there for her. Go on her love the way that she wants to be loved and treated. And even this man be competing with other women. He will look at other women and then he will be he'll try to compete, you know, or he'll try to look some type of way. You know, this man be wearing women um, sprays, you know, you know, like the Victoria type secret type stuff like that. God was showing me the dream that he would like the lotion, he would like the sprays, you know, and spray on his body and all this stuff. 
and you know Victoria's Secret has men stuff too he don't care for the men stuff he care for the sweet smelly stuff like women will wear he will he will wear stuff like that the sprays and the body sprays and the lotion he will wear stuff like that um this man has traveled to a lot of different places also you know in his younger days he's not this man is in like is in his you know early 30s to late 30s is who i'm talking about um he's not you know one of those men you know the older man he like i said he's traveled to different foreign countries and different things like that too um and has been with men over there also um You know, it, it's, it, it's, it's a lot, like I say, it's a lot of, I mean, as I'm talking, God is like giving me more and more insight on this man. Um, the so-called rich man that just suddenly became, you know, a little wealthy and famous status due to the rich lady that he was tied to and like I said it's 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 kind of hard to talk about um because I it's you know I don't like getting and talking about subjects like this you know going deep and deep into this man's life because God has, has really shown me this man's life from beginning all the way up until now of what's happening to him. You know, and for somebody to go through stuff like that, you know, all their childhood to adulthood life and went through that and, and not able to express his emotions, that he keep his emotions bottled up inside, that he can only talk to the opposite sex is, you know, about his, thing, you know, his frustration problems. And the opposite sex is always men that he talks to. He don't even really open up and talk to his girlfriend or his wife, you know, about his sexual you know, frustration, emotions, um, how he's dealing with identity crisis. You know, he want to be with men and women. Um, he he bought he keeps that bottle up a lot. Um, he's always, like I said, his deep thought, deep thinking all the time, and he's always comparing himself to women. You know, and trying to be like a, a woman. This man is more like on the feminine side. He's more in touch with his feminine side to the point that he wants to be a woman. He want to be a woman more than a man. Um, when he be with the man, and I talked about this. Like I say, God will show me back on my spiritual earth ancient channel. I talk about this man also meeting up with another man. And that he was doing crazy stuff in a home, doing crazy stuff, you know, in a, doing this man travels and everything else. So, this is like, oh, this is like, a, you know, part three, I guess, I guess I could say part three of it, that it goes deeper, you know, that God is showing me more and more deeper about what is going on with this man. I don't even know why I'm picking up this man energy or anything like that, but it's, it is what it is. So God has wanted me to talk about it, then I'm going to talk about it. And, um, like I said, it, you know, all this is so familiar with me talking about it, um, 
Spiritual Earth Angel 623 channel when I first came out with my spiritual journey and different things like that and talk about my prophetic dreams and everything, how God gifted me, you know, with spiritual gifts and psychic ability and different things like that. That's what that channel was all about before I came with the Divine and Jetta Chosen One channel. The second channel that I have when I came with that one, after I went through the spiritual journey and different things like that, and then graduated and, and, and then became into the Divine Angelic Chosen One channel. Um, talk about more like spiritual things and, um, you know, spiritual life, chosen ones and spiritual beings and earth angels and goddess and light workers and light seas and everything else. You know, step into my fully calling and mission, you know, and purpose, you know, with that. And, you know, and the Sarai Not Your Beauty, you know, products and also the astrology box that I have now um, advertising, you know, and it's going very well. And, and so when he finally talked to these two women, because, you know, when he goes home or whatever, he finally talked to these two women over the years. And one of them has a child by him. No, maybe, no, two of them. Okay, God, show me. Two of these women has a child by him. He has, he has children by these two women also. Even though they're married to, you know, they're best friends that were all in a group and all that stuff. Um, they do have two children. He do have two children by these, um, by these two women that he, you know, he's been, that he wanted to marry. And let's get back to when he tried to say that there was going to be someone special coming into the house of him and his wife or his longtime girlfriend and the wife didn't go for it and she stood on her ground and she told him well, nobody coming up in that house and that's what made that man a lot a little bit more angrier because he thought that he was he thought that he had met a rich woman that was going to accept and to allow sinful things to come into her presence and when that didn't happen this man went on a rampage to try to sabotage this woman his wife or his longtime girlfriend's reputation her business um was getting people stalking and following her you know he's telling all types of lies to people about her, making her to be the villain, um, the Cruella, you know how you know Cruella, the movie, you know with the um, Dalmatian and stuff, where he was trying to make her be the the vicious, um, you know the villain, um, the evil one, and that he was so innocent when he was doing a lot of covering up of all the secret fetishes and sins and different things that he was doing outside of their relationship and marriage. And see, he didn't want to, he didn't want people to find it out. And when the wife started telling him about her dreams that she was having about him, and he began to start listening to her you know, her videos that she posted online. You know, this woman also is like a blogger or creator. Um, she's, you know, she's a, she has a psychic abilities spiritually. She gets her downloads, you know, from the most high. And when she started talking about things that she was not there or present, it kind of made this man into a awkward situation, made him unease, discomfort, that how could she know so much about what he did behind closed doors or what he 
did at his past and she was not present there so he knew that this woman had gifts you know gifts so he began to do him and his little friend group online began to do witchcraft and different things towards this woman that's so called supposed to be his wife or girlfriend someone that he's supposed to protect and care and love but he was doing witchcraft he was doing him and, and he would have conversation with them he would get people to stalk and unknown people to stalk and follow her he will meet up with women just to talk about this woman, talk about his so-called wife and girlfriend. And he will talk about her to them and say evil and bad things. And when she hasn't done anything but try to show love and kindness to this man and to help him to heal. And this man choose not to heal. He choose not to believe in her gifts either. He make a mockery of her gifts and her talent that God has given. And when he did that, God was displeased. And then God is going to begin to do his wrath and unleash on this man. This man is really suffering. And he's not showing it to the world to this online group or whatever that he's associated with or secret side to associate with or whatever he's not showing it is because he don't want them to see that God is bringing judgment and karma on him and that God is keep telling him this man that he needs to make things right and that he this man is so stubborn that he refused to make things right. He refused to tell the truth. So he sits back and allow all of this stuff happen to this innocent wife or girlfriend of his. He allow it all to happen and laugh about it and don't do nothing. And that's why God is bringing judgment and wrath upon him. And that's why he's having all these nightmares where he's screaming and he's fighting demons. Yeah, he's fighting his own demons that he conjure up. He's fighting a lot of things. Lies and deceitfulness and betrayal is what he's fighting those are demons that torment this man and that's why this man can't sleep at night and when he look at this woman he don't know what to say and one side of him feeling remorse and then another side feeling that he hates her and matter of fact he hates all women he don't really care about women. He using a brick of these women. This man really, really loved men. And he abused women. He gets with women to just abuse them. And just to get their money. And then he moves on to the next. And then he spends all his money on the men that he's in relationship with is where his money goes to and where he like to support his lovers his men lovers is what God is telling show me is his men lovers this man is paying for sex he sometimes he pays for sex and then sometimes he get sometimes the men lover pay him for sex so take it how it resonate but this is what god was showing me in the dream and that's why instead of this man coming out and telling the truth to everybody and to end all this drama and different things that's in his life and where God can put him on the right path of getting his healing and moving.
moving him forward, he'd rather be stuck. He'd rather stay stuck in the past. He'd rather be stuck in where he's at. He'd rather not budge and be stubborn and not talk about anything that he has done wrong or take account of bitter responsibility of anything that he has done is what God is showing me. He's This man is bringing a demise, a sabotage of his own self because everything going to blow up in his face and his time is getting near. God it was saying and God was showing me in a dream too that his time is getting near, winding up. The cycle is ending for this man, this so-called rich man. It's ended. It's going to end. All his lies, all his secrets is beginning to expose. It's coming out little by little. It is being exposed. And this is what this man don't want. He especially don't want his parents to know. He don't want his siblings to know. His deep, dark secrets that what he's been hiding from them for years. He don't want them to know what he's doing. He needs redemption. But the only way that he can get redemption, God said, is that he has to repent. And he has to make it right. He has to go and tell the truth. And stop lying on this rich woman, so-called his wife or girlfriend. He needs to stop lying on her. And he needs to tell the truth. That's how everything will come out in the opening. He needs to make it right. And when God was showing me that things are not going smoothly in this man's life. Things are not going smoothly at all. This man is getting, he looks older, but he's not. He's a young man. But when you look at him, he looks like he's in his 40s, late 40s or early 40s, and this man is not. It's because of all the sin that he's been going through. All the secrets he's been harboring and manifesting inside his body. It's making this man kind of ill. And making him get more gray hairs than what he's supposed to be having. Because of all the heartaches and everything else that this man is harboring. That is manifesting inside of him. And is showing it on the outside. Everything would end if this man would tell the truth. When he stopped lying about not being married to this woman, when he's really married to this woman, he need to stop lying about that because the truth going to come out. The truth is already going to come in. It's coming out. People begin to see things that this man is not but a big liar. And a lot of people are start, going to stop following him and stop listening to him, man and female, because they know he's a liar, a pathic, psychic liar, a oh, psychotic liar on that too. That this man deals with two personalities, the good and the bad. And they see that this man try to act one way in public and then another way behind closed doors. People are not stupid. People can see that he's putting on a persona, that he's putting on an act. Because if this man didn't want to be married to this woman, and he's hiding behind the marriage, he's hiding behind his identity crisis as being bisexual, he hides behind the marriage because he know that if he let the wife go, and he go 
close to a man, the, the family is not going to greet him well. They are not going to greet him well at all. That he likes men. That he wants to bring a man to the family's event or to meet the family. And the family is not going to go well with that. And especially the country that he's from is not going to go well with that either. They don't do well with that. With two men. That country does not do well with two men. From what I heard that they will end up killing them. If they ever find out that there is two men married or sleeping around with each other in that country or two women, they get put to death in that country. And that's why this man don't want to leave his wife in another country and have her go with somebody else because he wants to use that as a scapegoat. Where he can continue to do both things, be with men and women.
leaders. So peace, love, joy, and happiness and much blessings to you. Um, until next time, this is Gracie um, for the Divine and Jada Chose One channel, Spiritual Earth Angel 623 channel, which you need to go and listen to some of the videos on that channel. Because um, a lot of the things that I talk about um, on my spiritual journey and then how God put me on my spiritual journey, which I've been on my spiritual journey for a while, but going into deep and deep, deep into it is what, you know, God was just really, you know, showing me, you know, my spiritual gifts and stuff like that and psychic abilities, you know, developing them more, um, get more into my mission, my purpose, and my calling. So that's pretty much what the Spiritual Earth Angel 623 was about. And then getting the Divine Angelic Chosen One channel, that's more into in-depth of my um, spiritual gift and purpose, you know, and what I'm here to do um, as a Earth Angel on Earth that God has sent. So until next time, peace, love, joy, and happiness to everyone. Um, keep moving forward. Um, speak the truth, please, y'all. It's time to speak the truth, you know, before anything start blowing up in your face and secrets and betrayal and everything start to unfold. All that you have to do is set the person down and just tell them the truth about things, you know, and then let that person make that decision on their own and not uh, not you making decisions for that person allow that person make the decision once they hear the information whether or not what they want to do with the information that they have gotten and not try to force that information or make that decision for them be bold when it comes to standing up for what is right and what is wrong. If you see that something is wrong and what somebody's doing to an innocent person, don't stand there and, and, and be a bystander and allow that person to get bullied. Don't do that. Stand up. That's what's wrong with people in this world. You don't stand up for what is right. What is the right thing to do? Because what if that happened to any of your family members? And will you stand by? And I have seen a lot of stuff on videos on social media where there were people that don't stand by. When something happened to that family, they go ballistic. They go crazy. They go to social media. They go to everything. But when you see that there is somebody else that's not part of your family, that don't deserve what they're getting because it's based on somebody's identity crisis. There are lies, there are secrets that they don't want to get out, to be exposed. Their hidden agenda. That's when you need to speak up. That's when you need to be the mature adult. And give words of wisdom to that person that they shouldn't be coming to social media with it. They need to go to that person directly. And that's what's wrong with people this day and time that they want to take everything to social media. They don't want to go directly to the person to address the situation like two adults. They want to take everything to social media to get groups, you know, to form groups and to have allies and different things like that to come together based on lies and not truth. You know, it's always, you know, they always say it's two sides to every story. And a lot of times when people come to social media to try to form groups against somebody, they don't wanna want the other person or the group of people, whoever, the followers or whatever, to know what the other side is. They wanna keep that hidden. And all 
something you're doing is digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole, a rabbit hole, a tunnel, a whirlwind that you cannot get yourself out of. And once everything blow up in your face, then you want sympathy. Then you want compassion. Then you want people to have word of compassion because then you want to play the victim when you were the villain all along behind closed doors, the mastermind that was mastering and orchestrating all the plan the whole time, how you was going to tear someone innocent down to ruin someone's reputation. You should have a guilty conscience and that's why a lot of people are not sleeping at night because of their guilty conscience. All the bad deeds and sin that they've been doing and hiding. That's why they are not sleeping at night. That's why things are not going the way that things are going. They're losing things. They're losing money and business, houses and cars and homes, broken up homes or broken up relationships and different things. Because you keep harboring sin. You keep following someone that is in full of sin. And God has already stepped away from this person a long time ago because this man needs to do right. This man needs to come clean and come forth and stop hiding behind all of the sin that he's been doing behind closed doors. This man needs to come clean. God said he needs to come clean. Before things will work in his life, he needs to come clean. This man is going to watch a lot of innocent people all around him suffer and get destroyed because of his sin. Something that he created came up with the ideal. All that karma and judgment is waiting for this man. And he's trying to run away. And what he does, he tried to hide under his wife and girlfriend and tried to bring the common judgment to them. And God said, not so. God has blocked this man from this, this from his wife and his old girlfriend energy. Has blocked him totally. And he knows he's been blocked. And he's really mad and angry about that too because he's been blocked from their energy. Because once he used to go there and and hide, you know, and that way he won't get the karma and judgment. But now God said he's going through his karma and judgment. He's going to go through it alone. He created this alone. He's going to go through it alone. And he's already going through it. It's already beginning. He's just not saying anything to nobody. But that karma and judgment is already hitting him. And it's hitting him hard. It's hitting him in his loved one places. It's hitting him very hard. In his finances, it's hitting him. In his health, it's hitting him. He's just not telling nobody. But it's hitting him really hard. This man is going through because God warned him and his groupies or followers or whatever he warned them to stop coming against a chosen one one that God has favored and anointed and appointed and they came against so now all of them is going through their karma and their judgment a lot of people and friends that was in that group is dying, dropping, dropping like flies. They here one day and they gone the next. Because God is not playing with his wrath and his judgment when it comes to that. When you coming up against spiritual being, chosen ones that he have chosen, he has called and appointed anointed, you don't come out, you don't come up against prophets and prophetess. You don't come up against them. Because God has called them for a reason. And when you come up against them, 
be prepared for God's wrath and his judgment will come upon you. And it's going to hit you hard. It's going to hit you in places that you would never have thought that God would go. And that's what's going with this man and this online community and groups and followers. It's hitting them hard. Until next time, peace, love, joy, and happiness. Much blessings.